What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So yesterday we discussed my plans to review each of ARK Invest's top 5 ETFs and to pick the top 2 companies from each at the end of the 5 video series and start a mini portfolio pie for ARK Invest on my trading 212 portfolio. In yesterday's video we looked through ARK Innovation ETF and we looked through Tesla, Roku, Invita, Crisp Therapeutics and Squire. So some of these companies might be overlapping in the other ETFs and if that's the case we'll just use the company below that. But just before we get into today's video, as always if you're new around here please consider subscribing to the channel as our next main goal is to get to 600 subscribers by the end of 2020. And with that being said, let's dive right into ARK Invest ETFs. The ETF we're going to cover today is ARK Autonomous Technology and Robotics with ticker symbol ARKQ. We can see here that their net assets is 633 million. They have an expense ratio of 0.75 with typical holdings between 30 and 50. They have a weighted average market cap of 161.9 billion. And again, the portfolio manager is Katrin Wood. So autonomous technology and robotics are focused on and expected to substantially benefit from development of new products or services, technology improvements and advancements in scientific research related to, among other things, energy, automation and manufacturing materials and transportation these companies may develop produce or enable autonomous transportation robotics and automation 3d printing which again is quite interesting energy storage and space exploration yet again another very interesting aspect the current share price is about 72 dollars or so and in terms of performance we can see the nav over the last three months went up 21.26 percent year to date is up 54 percent and one year date is up 80.81%. So as of the 8th of December, we can see there is currently about 40 companies or so here, 41 in total in fact. And again, if you wanna just have a quick brief run through of all of this, maybe just pause the video and have a quick look. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna talk about five of the top holdings here. And again, as I mentioned earlier, if you already discussed one of these companies in yesterday's video, we will exclude from today's. And that's the case with the top company here, Tesla. We discussed that in yesterday's video. So we'll focus on Materialize. I think we'll give Alphabet a skip as everyone knows who Google is. We'll go to Tremble, Deer, Proto Labs, and NXP Semiconductors. We'll make up the top five companies we'll look through briefly in today's video. In terms of shares held, we can see Materialize here have 1.77 million shares. We can see Trimble have 800,000 or 801,000 shares. Deere & Co have 193,000, Proto Labs have 308,000 shares held by ARK and the Semiconductors NXP have 254,000 shares held. The first company is Materialize with ticker symbol MTLS and is traded on the US Stock Exchange. It currently has a share price of $50.50 and over the last 3 months it went up an impressive 42% or just under $15. And I kind of started to like doing these series, kind of style videos from ARK Invest, as the vast majority of the companies that I'm talking about are completely new to me as well. So I'm learning along the way also, and it's definitely, especially as a long-term investor, to kind of keep your perspective open in terms of stocks to pick. Like instead of, let's say, always going for the Coca-Colas, Apples, Googles, etc. that everyone knows about. But in terms of growth investing, ARK Invest really does have a lot of very interesting picks. So Materialize NV is a Belgian based company engaged in the software industry. The company is a provider of addictive manufacturing software and three dimensional printing services. Materialize incorporates 3D printing experience into a range of software solutions and 3D printing services through which the company seeks to form the backbone of the 3D printing industry. Their CEO is Wilfred Van Crane and they currently have over 2000 employees. And again, their headquarters is in Belgium sector is technology and software and programming is their industry in terms of some key financial ratios their market cap is 2.4 billion they have a PE ratio of 1.19k revenue of 232 million with an earnings per share of four cent in terms of financial summary for the six months ending 30th of june materialized revenues decreased 12 percent to 84 million net losses applicable to common stakeholders increased from 601k the 4.7 million so that's quite a substantial loss 
increase. So the revenues affected materially manufacturing segments decreased to 23% to 37 million euro. So again, some might see this decrease in the overall sector or segment as kind of either one, an opportunity to buy on the dip, or two, they're kind of thinking that the boat might have already sailed for this kind of sector and that it might be on the decline. But certainly, as always, you need to do your own due diligence research before deciding on companies. And for me, maybe this company mightn't be in the top two list for this ETF. The second company that we'll briefly touch on today is Trimble with ticker symbol TRMB, currently with a share price of $63. And over the last three months, we can see it's gone up 28.5% or $14. Trimble engaged in providing tech solutions that enable professionals and feed mobile workers to transform their work processes. The company's solutions are used across a range of industries, including agriculture, architecture, civil engineering, survey and land admin, construction. We also have government, natural resources and utilities. Their CEO is Robert Painter and they have 11,500 employees headquartered in Sunnyvale, US and their sector is in the tech sector with software and programming being their industry. They have a market cap of 13.09 billion P ratio of 23.17, revenue of 3 billion, with an earnings per share of $2.26. So for the 26 weeks ending the 3rd of July, so again, this would be a good few months ago at this stage, the revenues decreased 8% to 1.5 billion, net income decreased 20% to 124.9 million, and the revenues reflect transportation segment decrease of 17% to 321.5 million. And again, it's just worth noting that this was July. And we are now in December. The third company that we we'll discuss today is Deer & Co with ticker symbol DE. Over the last three months it's gone up 20% or $42 and it's currently sitting at just over $250 per share. So Deer & Co engages in equipment operations. The company is engaged in providing financial services. It also through its operations through business segments agriculture and turf, construction, forestry and financial services. The agriculture and turf segment manufactures and distributes a line of agricultural and turf equipment and related service products. They have a CEO, John May. They have 73,500 employees. They're headquartered in the US. Their sector would be capital goods and construction and agriculture machinery is their industry. They have a market cap of 68.42 billion with a PE ratio of just under 22. Revenue of 39 billion, which is quite impressive. They have an earnings per share of just under $10 with a dividend yield of 1.39% for nine months ending the 2nd of August. And again, as I stated earlier, it's worth noting the date here that is a bit behind. Deer and co revenues decreased 12% to 25.8 billion. Net income applicable to common stakeholders excluding extraordinary items decreased 20% to just under 2 billion. The next company up is Proto Labs with ticket symbol PRLB. And over the last year, it had gone up over 50% or $51 or so, and it's currently trading at $147. For some reason, there's no further details on trading 2 on 2 for Proto Labs. So we just dived over to Yahoo Finance here, and we can see that they have an earnings per share of 2.1 with a PE ratio of 70.18. The company is in the industrial sector, and metal fabrication would be its industry, currently have 2,500 employees. And if we just scroll down here, in a nutshell, Proto Labs, together with the subsidiaries, operates as an e com driven digital manufacturer of custom prototypes and on demand products across the world. The company's top three institutional holders are BlackRock with 15.1% holding, Brown Capital Management with 14%, and the company that we're talking about today, Arc Invest Management, have 11.5% holding. The fifth and final company we'll discuss today is NXP Semiconductors with ticker symbol NXPI. And over the last year, it's gone up 40.1% or $47.60, currently trading at $166 per share. So NXP Semiconductors is a holding company. The company operates as a semiconductor company and provides high performance mixed signal and standard product solutions. The company's segments are high performance mixed signals, standard products, and corporate and other. Their CEO is Kurt Sheaves and their employees are currently at 29,000. Technology is their sector and their industry is semiconductors. 
The company has a market cap of 46.1 billion with a PE ratio of 152.24. They have a revenue of 8.88 billion with $1.08 being their earnings per share and they have a dividend yield of 0.91%. Over the nine months ending the 27th of September, their revenues decreased 7% to 6.1 billion. Net loss totaled 257 billion versus income of 129 million. And the revenue reflects a decrease in demand for the company's products and services due to unfavorable market conditions. So there we have it guys. I just wanted to give a brief overview of some of the top companies held in this ETF. We went through Materialize, we went through Trimble, Deere & Co, Proto Labs, and NXP Semiconductors. I hope you found this video helpful in some way, shape or form. And if that was the case, it would be great if you consider subscribing to the channel if you're new around here. And also smashing that like button. And probably more importantly, if you have any input in terms of any of Ark Invest's ETFs or holdings, please comment in the section below and I'd be glad to get back to you. And again, as I noted at the start of the video, once we go through the five ETFs held by Ark Invest, we currently have two done, but once we have all the other three complete as well, we will then be making a video on handpicking the top two, in my opinion, from each of the five ETFs and creating an ARK Invest style ETF portfolio pie on trading two and two.